Hey everyone, Sue Brooke, how are you? I am talking about some networking tips. Now earlier, I did the most amazing Facebook Live ever and I heard that my audio was terrible and I feel terrible so I had to delete it. I spent like a half an hour Facebook Live on networking tips and um, yeah, so what a waste of time. Anyway, I just got back from a networking event. I'm actually sitting in my convertible waiting for a friend um, to have some late dinner. So let me give you some tips while I'm waiting for her. So a lot of people make a lot of mistakes when they're, hey Luann, um, when they are networking. And I just have to bring this up because it's kind of a big passion of mine. Um, the mistakes that people make when they go to networking events and they just make a whole lot of mistakes. So the problem with networking events is this. People tend to go to networking events with this intention. So remember, when you're doing anything, you need to think in your head what your intention is. Hi David, how are you? Yes, oh I know, it was so good. So I will actually repeat the, the Facebook Live. Um, I have my notes and so I'll go through and redo that again. But let me try to give you a few tips because I actually just got out of a networking event and I just wanted to let you know um, a few of my tips that I can remember off the top of my head. So here's the thing, like I was saying, a lot of people go to networking events with this intention. Now everything you do, you need to have an intention. So what is your end game, your intention of anything you do? So here's the problem. When people go to a networking event, hi Ed, long time no see. People go to networking events and they think, oh my goodness, I'm gonna go to this networking event. If there are 20 people in the networking event, um, if there's 20 people, oh my gosh, I might be able to, I'm sorry, somebody's texting me at the same time. If I go to this networking event and there are 20 people there, I might actually have a chance to sell something, sell my product or sell my service to those 20 people. Big, big, big mistake. Big mistake. Don't you remember that movie? Big mistake. Big mistake. Pretty women, I think. Anyway, it is a big mistake because you need to go to a networking event with this intention. Don't go to the networking event thinking that, hey, all every person there is a possible person that I can sell my product or service to. No, 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 no. I hate that. Don't do that. Here's what I want you to do. I want to twist it. I want you to think this. So, you know, we all go to a networking event and we collect business cards. Yes. Oh, those wonderful stack of business cards, which we all have a giant shoe box of them, which we never do anything with right on our desk. So here's what I want you to do. Instead of looking at that business card as that person that you're going to actually sell something to, I want you to play a game. I want you to look at that person and say, okay, let's see. Maybe there's a way for her and I, or he and I, to form some kind of JV joint venture relationship with. So let me give you an example. My example is this. When I used to own a tutoring center and I would go to networking events, I went with the intention of trying to find other people that we could work together to help each other with our businesses. So let me give you an example. So let's say I owned my tutoring center and I met a plumber. So I would look at that plumber and go, hmm, what does a plumber and a tutoring center owner have in common? How can we possibly help each other? So in my head, I would think this, oh, well, let me see. I have students, I have kids right in my tutoring center. I need parents, that's my, target market are parents that need a place for their kids for tutoring or after school or summer camp or whatever. This plumber, he cleans toilets. He unstuffs toilets with probably a lot of parents who have kids that plug up the toilets, right? I know this is kind of gross, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going, wow. So a lot of his clients most likely have kids. So here you go. Um, so here's the thing. So I would find a plumber and I would say, Hey, 
why don't I give you a big stack of free tutoring sessions that you could give to your clients. Okay, I'm sorry, I am, <laughs> I'm in a parking lot, somebody's alarm's going off. So I would give this plumber a whole stack of free tutoring center certificates and I'd say give them out to your clients who happen to have children. And, at, and in return to help you, I am going, I want you to give me your information, maybe some coupons, maybe something that I can give to my current parents that I can promote you as a plumber, an awesome plumber, to give to them. So we're helping each other. I'm not asking the plumber, even if he has kids, I'm not saying, hey, bring your kids to my tutoring center. That's one person. I can give him a whole bunch of free tutoring session passes and I might get a hundred different clients. So when you go to a networking event, make sure that you're thinking about those people that you meet as um, joint venture partners, somebody that you can help each other with, okay? And while I'm waiting for my friend here, I'm getting ready to go have some dinner after the networking event. I'm just wasting time in the parking lot. So here we go. Let me give you a few tips before she gets here. All right. Always, 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 please have your picture on your business card. If you are handing out a business card to someone, if your picture is not on the business card, I guarantee you that that person's gonna go home with a big old stack of business cards and they're gonna look at your card and go, I have no clue who this is and I don't even, I can't remember who they are because I can't picture who that person is. And the whole key to networking is building relationships and getting people to know who you are, recognize your face, know your name, and know what you do for a living. Know about your business. So make sure that your picture is on your business card. And by the way, please make sure the picture actually looks like you, like you look now. Not like an online dating profile where people put their pictures up there where they look like when they were you know, 15 years ago. So I know that sounds silly, but it's so true. So I need you to have a business card with your picture on it, a current really nice picture that actually looks like you now. All right, so picture, let's see, joint venture things. Okay, here's another thing. On your business card or whatever you give them that has your email address on it, make sure that you have a professional um, how can I build up a good networking? Okay, well, I'd love to know what you mean by that. Um, when you're going out networking and you're in a group, have things like what I just said. I have your picture on your business card. Make sure that you have a professional email address. Okay, I'm not saying that your email address should be um, sue5678 at yahoo.com. Okay, that is not a professional email address. You need to have an email address that has your website at the end of it. So my email is sue, S-U-E, at suebrook.com. Easy, my website is suebrook.com. My email is sue at suebrook.com, okay? So you need to have a professional email address. Um, it does a couple of things. Number one, it makes you look professional. You actually have an email, you have a website, you are professional. You don't have a Yahoo, Hotmail, or for God's sakes, AOL email address. Seriously, people look at that as, um, they really do look at it, promise you. Okay, the second positive thing about that is if people see your email address, like mine, as sue at as, uh, sue at com, you know that my website is suebrook.com. So you're gonna be able to go and um, go to suebrook.com. You mean that I can't use my future? <laughs> no. Yes, when you're 90 years old. No, David. You need to put a current picture on your um, on, <laughs> on your um, business card. Sorry, <laughs> your business card. Okay, so let's see. Now, I'm going to keep going, and I'm just going to keep talking until my friend gets here. So you've got your professional uh, email address. You got your professional photo, your photo that actually looks like you, not your online dating profile picture <laughs> from 20 years ago. Um, then let's see, okay, now, here's the thing. So let's say you go home and you go, oh, I wanna put 
all of these people's email addresses in my email list and I want to send out some emails to all these people that I met at my networking event. Okay, here's the thing. Make sure that you ask everyone that you get their email address from. You need to make sure, you need to get their permission to put their email address on your email list and so give you permission to actually email them. So a lot of people make this mistake. I get this all the time. I handed out my business cards at the networking event tonight. I guarantee you that there's going to be people that are going to send me emails that I never gave them permission to put me on the list. And guess what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to unsubscribe, which brings me to my next topic. If you are going to send emails to people that you meet at these networking events, make sure that you actually put their email addresses into an email management program. I'm talking Constant Contact, Infusionsoft. My favorite one of all, which is totally, completely free, it, up until like 2,000 emails or whatever, is MailChimp, like chimp, like a, a, a monkey. MailChimp.com is completely free. I love free and really low cost um, uh, tools that you can use for your business. MailChimp.com. So take all those business cards and make sure that they give you permission to put them on your list, put them in your MailChimp account. Here's why I'm telling you this. When you send them an email from your MailChimp or Constant Contact or whatever account, one of your email contact management systems, there is a big thing on the bottom that says unsubscribe. It gives your people a chance to say, you know what, this isn't for me, I really don't wanna get emails from you, unsubscribe, and then you don't have to worry about spamming anyone. Here's what's happened. I've, I've, oh my gosh, I have a couple people that do this and it just, honestly, it's, it's a horrible feeling because here's what happens. They put their emails in their Gmail or Yahoo or whatever account and they just blind CC, for God's sakes, do not CC them so everybody can look, see everyone's email addresses. If you blind CC them, at least they can't see them. But here's what happens. They send me an email and there's no place for me to unsubscribe. There's no place for me to say, you know what, I really, I, this isn't an email that I really am going to use and I really need to be off your email list. There's no place to unsubscribe. And it's a horrible, horrible feeling because guess what? We have to reply back to the email and say, I'm so sorry, can you please unsubscribe me from your list or can you please not ever email me again? Then you feel bad because you have to actually, and plus it, it takes the time to reply and ask them to please remove you and pl please don't email me, but I feel terrible. And then they probably feel terrible because they're like, oh, I'm really sorry. And it's just, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. And who knows what would happen if you have any sort of a friendship. So make sure you have an email management system. Okay, um, I don't see my friend here anymore, so I'm gonna keep talking. Okay, the next thing is this. So let's say that you give someone your, um, your email and your contact information, and they add you as a friend on Facebook. Awesome, you want them to add you as a friend on Facebook so that they can see what you're doing and if they're interested, awesome. Or if they wanna work with you or become friends with you, whatever. But here's what I don't want you to do also. This is a big mistake a lot of people make. They actually, oh my gosh, this, I'm sorry, there's two, three things. <laughs> Number one is they tag you in posts. So please do not make a post about anything, especially if you're selling something, and tag everybody on your Facebook page. Then here's what happens. It's tagged and then it goes on their Facebook thing and then you get all these notifications and it's a pain in the rear end. So my, I have my notifications set to no, people can tag me, but I have to approve whether or not I wanna share it on my Facebook page. So if, I, if someone tags me, then it's gonna be a notification that says, hey, this person tagged you, do you wanna add it to your timeline? And most of the time I'm like, no, and would you please remove the tag? Please don't tag people unless you ask them first because it's really not cool. I have a couple people on my Facebook 
um, uh, on my Facebook friends list, they, they're always posting something and then they tag everyone on their friends list and then I have to go in and I have to remove the tag and I don't want to, it's just, it's just not cool. So please don't tag people. The second thing, which, oh my gosh, I have a huge, huge pet peeve with this. Please don't do group messages. So don't do a private, I don't like them on my cell phone and I don't like it on Facebook. When people go, oh, I'm going to do one giant group message to tell everybody to join my group or to buy my shit or whatever. I'm sorry to use that language, but I mean, that's what happens. So don't, don't, um, do a group text, whether it's on your phone or on Facebook or anything, because here's what happens. When I get a group text on Facebook, for example, then all of a sudden people st start responding and then I get notification after notification and everything keeps popping up and it just interrupts my whole day and my focus and it's just too much. And then what do I have to do? I have to go to the little round, you know, settings thing and I have to go um, leave the group and then everybody gets a notification that Sue left the group and then it feels bad. So it's, it just doesn't feel good. So please don't add people to group messages. Don't tag them. And lastly, I mean, I'm talking mostly Facebook is please don't add people to a group without asking them if they want to be a part of it. I'm constantly getting people that say, Oh, so-and-so added you to this whatever group. And then I'm added, and then what happens? I get all these notifications that's like, oh, buy this, buy that, buy this, and I'm selling this, I'm selling that. And then it's just, again, I mean, I'm ADD. I don't know if you are, but I get very distracted. And if I keep getting notifications of things, and I didn't ask to be in the group, I don't want to be in the group, I might not be interested in what you're selling. So please just ask people first to join your group. Just say, hey, if you have any interest in whatever, whatever, whatever that your group is about, just say, I would love for you to join. Just like me right now. Here's what I'm going to give you an example. Please join my group if you want to learn more about marketing, about making your business um, more money. If you want really great content to start, grow, market your business, please join my group, Ignite Your Biz Now. So you can go on Facebook right now and type in Ignite Your Biz Now, search for that, join my group. And guess what? You're gonna get videos like this shared to that group and you're gonna learn stuff to grow your business or inspirational kind of things. I'm not gonna spam you. I'm not gonna try to sell you anything. And in that group, you can actually ask questions and get answers to things because I will answer your questions for you or other people in the group. So when you have a group, please don't just add anybody to it. Don't add your whole entire list to it. Maybe they don't want to be a part of your group, right? So um, let's see. Let's see if I got through all this stuff. So um, your business card, your email, um, groups, adding people on your Facebook page, um, making sure that you have a email management system, hugely important. Um, but the most important thing that I want to talk to you about tonight is when you go to a networking group or you're talking to somebody, make sure you follow up with them. Now, this is not what I mean. I don't mean follow up and say, hey, can we meet for coffee? I met you on, at the blah, blah, blah networking group. Can we please meet for coffee so I can sell you all my shit? Okay, sorry about that again. I Nobody wants to meet for coffee. I don't have time to meet for coffee to listen to you give me your pitch on selling whatever it is that you're going to sell. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow up by just sending maybe a card in the mail, a gift in the mail, and saying, you know what, it was so awesome meeting you. I would love to get to know you better. Is there anything I could do to help you with your business? Period. Just end of story. So your goal is to go to a networking groups, find out how you can help other people. Because you know what's gonna happen is when you do that and you are the person that wants to help other people and you're not trying to sell anything, you are gonna be the person that everybody wants to be around. Super, super important. So um, that I think almost covers it. Let me see if I can think of anything else. I have my list of home at home of all the things I wanted to make sure. Um, let's see, 
I guess I'll keep talking because I'm still waiting for my friend to show up who's not here yet. Um, if you haven't written a book yet, and I'm talking, you just have to write an ebook. It's totally free. Just write a quick thing about what you're good at or what you're an expert at. Um, you should do that and you should get a book written because I'm telling you when you're at a networking event and you have books to hand to people or show people or you tell people you are a best-selling author, it will change your life. So those are some of the things that I am going to let you know what my um, expertise is, I guess, or you know the things that I think you can make the best of networking events would be. Um, one of the things that I am doing now is I'm really actually not handing out my business card as much as I want to, but I am actually taking a photograph with me and another person. So I'm taking a selfie of us and I'm just saying, hey, I want to remember who you are. Can we take a picture with each other? I take a picture with the person and then I say, you know what, here, fill in your, give me your address. And I have them give me their address and their contact information. I actually have a tool on my phone, an actual app on my phone, where I can make a greeting card. And I can put the picture of us on the front of the card. I can write a nice heartfelt message. I can brand the back of my card with my information. And I can send them an actual card and a gift, like a box of brownies, a Starbucks gift card, whatever. I can send it to them. An actual one. I'm not talking about virtual brownies or a virtual e-card. I'm talking about a card that they're going to actually get in the mail. I'm telling you something, you guys. It is changing my entire life. Now, there's a, a way to do this. There is a trick to it. Um, I don't know if you've heard of send out cards, but that's what I'm using. I love it. And um, I can help you use that tool to grow your business. So I'd love to hear from you if you want to know more about it. If you've heard of send out cards before and you know people and you, or you've tried it before and it didn't work for you, I still want to talk to you because I think what's happened is a lot of people aren't understanding the power of sending cards and gifts to people in the mail. So I have a lot of really cool stuff I'd love to share with you. And um, I'm hoping my friend's going to be here soon. I'm just sitting in a parking lot and people are probably wondering what I'm talking about. But I hope I've given you some really great tips and tricks for networking. And um, I don't want you to be the kind of networker that people go to a networking event and run the other way because you're the one that's going to keep bugging them. I want you to offer really good value and become a friend with them and um, offer them your help. And I'm telling you, you will form a friendship, you will form a relationship, and it will do wonders for you. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to ask you a favor. Would you please go, um, two things, go and join my group, Ignite Your Biz Now. It's a free group. It used to be completely closed, but now it is, um, it is actually uh, um, open to any of you, so you can join it, Ignite Your Biz Now. It's a group. You can ask questions and get help, and, and you can even promote your business. I'm good with that. Um, second of all, um, uh, I want you to go join, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, it's brand new, so it's brand new. I'm putting all of my Facebook Live videos that have really good content, I'm putting them up on my new YouTube channel, and you can find it at this link Ignite Your Biz, B I Z tv.com go to ignite your biz tv.com please subscribe to the channel you can see a lot of the other um, videos that I've done before and this one will be up there shortly and you'll be able to find out all kinds of cool stuff and good um, content on my YouTube channel so please join ignite your biz now t or I'm sorry ignite your biz tv.com Love you guys. Thanks you for watching. I am out of here. Have an amazing and awesome night, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye-bye.